How do you indent and outdent the nodes in a tree view using Delphi? Now, this is the latest episode in a free series about programming a collapsible outliner using the Delphi tree view. As always, you can download all the projects, all the source code for free from www.bitwisebooks.com. The indent and outdent buttons you can see here, well, they're used to move the selected item um, one level in or one level outwards when you click them. So you can see here, I've got a selected item. And if I want to outdent it, I click the outdent button and it goes uh, one level to the left, indent. I press the indent button and it goes one level to the right. Now let's have a look at the code. So if I go into the outdent button, you can see the code here. It first determines the index of the parent node, that is the node one level higher than the current one, parent index equals node dot parent dot absolute index. Absolute index was explained in the previous video in the series. Then it uses the move to method of the selected node to move it to the same level as its parent. And the na add uh, parameter that's here, well, uh, that controls how the node is moved. This and other parameters are documented in the uh, tree view move to method in the, the Delphi help. So you can uh, press F1 over that and you can see uh, extra help, of course, in the uh, help system. The code attached to the indent button is broadly similar apart from the fact that it uses the T tree node get prev sibling and get next sibling methods to indent the selected item between the previous or the next nodes at the same level as necessary. In a real world outliner, you'd also want to drag and drop nodes from one place to another. Say I want to take this scene of murder node and put it under, let's have a look, um, under the great white shark, I don't know quite why want to do that, but there you can see that I've dragged and dropped it. I'll explain how to do that in the next lesson. Get free source code, hints and tips from bitwisebooks.com or sign up for a course at bitwisecourses.com.